guys, so time for August favourites. Now I am sat on the floor in the corner of my room with my blinds open as wide as they will go, trying to get enough light for this. I'm in my cosy old comfy around the house clothes. It is pouring with rain. Rain like you would never believe. We've had so much rain in the last probably two weeks that it's just crazy. So I was getting all ready. I was going to film a video, like a get ready with me, but that all went out the window because it went so dark. So just a little bit of mismatched makeup going on, kind of stopped halfway through, just a bit of lip balm on. And I'm trying out this like top knot that I keep seeing people doing like half up, half down. Not sure I'm feeling it. So I'm kind of glad that it's out of shot. I can just see it's out of shot, so, but we'll see. Um, you'll have to let me know if it's a yay or a nay. Right, so favourites. My first favourite is this, and this is the Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. And you'll probably remember I hauled this quite a while ago. Now, I had this and I didn't use it for the longest, longest time, but I've been using it now for about the last five, six weeks, and I love it. It's amazing. I use it for my foundation. Um, I haven't tried it with powder yet. There's a hair, a loose hair. It's really annoying me. Um, I haven't tried it with powder yet. Um, I can't imagine that for me it would be the sort of brush that I would like for powder because I have my favourites. But for foundation, it is literally amazing. It is dirty because this is what I've been using today. But it's just so quick. You can tap, you can blend, you can buff, you can use it in a hundred ways. And it's a really good price point. I think they're like £11. So I really, really like this. What should I do next? Let's do this next. I have been eyeshadow wise my favorite eyeshadow has been purples and golds um i can't pick out one of each or a palette or that because i've been mixing and matching through all of my purples and golds and maroons and all those colors i'm still obsessed with them and i can't wait for the autumn so i can really wear them even more and embrace them so as a whole my favorite eyeshadows have been purples and golds however this has been my favorite transition shade and this is texture from mac and it's a velvet finish I just love this. I don't have it on today because um, it's in my little pile to film. But I just love this because it's literally warm. It's the perfect colour. You can blend it out so it's really, really soft in just the hint of colour. Or you can have it really intense and have it really warm and sort of golden. But I just love it. Really, really beautiful colour. Just for me, the ultimate right. crease Next colour. Next favourite so is this. And it's got a crack in it, which I'm a little bit confused about because I haven't dropped it. But this is the Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in Opalescent Amber. And I think this was like 250 or something like that. And if you have a little look, it is literally the most beautiful rose gold amber highlight in the world. I've been obsessed with this. I've been using it on and off for probably eight weeks since I've got it, it's just beautiful. And every time I've done a video, I've either used it, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times, I Instagrammed it, but this is the first favourites that I've done since I've been wearing it. And look at that glow, it's just amazing. I love it. And for £2.50, and I can see it's broken, it's broken. This this hurts me. However, for £2.50, I don't really mind. Um, let's have a little look. Oh yeah, it's coming away from the pan. We're just gonna push that little bad boy in. Um, but beautiful, love it. If you've got the chance to pick this up, I definitely recommend it. A skincare favourite, which is quite controversial for me, is this, and this is the Avene Clenance Matte. Now you all know for the longest time I was using Clenance K and, yeah, Clenance K, and then they changed it and they called it Clenance Expert and I moved over and I loved it. However, my skin has improved an awful lot. I've changed my skincare routine a little bit. I've added in a few different bits and pieces, the way I cleanse and tone. And since then, I haven't really needed the Clenance Expert. It was a little bit too much for my skin, even with my acne prone, cystic acne, literally the whole works. It was just a little bit too much. So I decided to try this, which was the Clenance Matte, which replaced the old Clenance. And I love it. I have been using it religiously since I got it every day. I hardly use my Clenance Expert now. This keeps me nice and matte. It leaves my skin fresh. It doesn't break me out. If I do get a little breakout, they heal nice and quickly because of other products that I use. Literally, it's amazing. And this, for me, is going to be my new everyday moisturiser for the longest time. I can see it already. I just love it. I love the Avene range. And for me, having my sensitive, blemish-prone skin, it's literally changed my life, which sounds really dramatic, but amazing products. So that was that. One of the products that I mentioned that I've added in is this. And this is the Advanced Genifique from Longcomb. 
and it comes in a bottle like this this is the 20 mil size which was a limited edition um, it's normally 30 mil but it's got a little stopper on the top and then it's just a very very clear serum now with this you can use it daytime or nighttime I put it on at night underneath my Vichy Normadam it doesn't make me greasy it doesn't break me out my skin is genuinely more radiant when I wake up in the morning I look at myself and I'm like oh my god my skin looks better it just looks glowing it looks healthy I love this stuff it is anti-aging however for me it's more radiance boosting and brightening and all that kind of stuff um because they do call it a youth activating concentrate I th in my opinion the way it does that for me is it just makes my skin look radiant my skin has felt so radiant recently that I would have gone out with just a little bit of concealer and I did on a couple of occasions and before this I would never have done that so I love it and I highly recommend it it is expensive I'm not going to lie to you but for me it's well worth the money because I use a tiny little drop every night and I think the lady on the counter worked it out it works out like a pound a week or something like that or two pound a week for an entire year and for me because my moisturizer that I use isn't the most expensive it's like 11 pounds this is well worth the investment so it's something I will continue to use I've been using it for months now and I love it the entire time that I wasn't um, YouTubing I was still using this and it's genuinely amazing. I know Laura loves beauty. When I posted it on my Instagram, she commented saying that she tried it before her wedding and that she too is obsessed. So definitely give it a go if you're looking for something for that extra little pick me up. Now my skin has been by no means perfect. And so for when it hasn't, or I've had the occasional breakout, this is what I've been turning to. And this is the Origin Super Spot Remover Blemish Treatment Gel. Now, this tiny little bottle, you wouldn't look at it and think that it does very much. However, this stuff is amazing. If I have a spot coming up at night, if I put this on it at bedtime when I've done my cleansing, toning, serum, blah, 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 and then put this on last, in the morning, it is so much smaller. It may have pretty much gone. It heals them quicker. It's just amazing. It's got salicylic acid in it. And for me, this has just been a little lifesaver because it means that the rest of my skin is nice and clear. And then I can just pop a little bit of this on. I do even sometimes pull it on when I do my moisturizer in the morning and then before my foundation, it doesn't upset my skin using it that way. And it doesn't upset my makeup. Literally amazing. Definitely give it a go if you are prone to stubborn Start little breakouts. a lip liner favorite. And this is Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Medium. These are the ones that you don't twist. They wind themselves up and everything. I've shown you these in different colors, but this is the nude medium which is like a rosy brown it's absolutely beautiful um i've loved this and i like pairing it with pinks i like pairing it with peaches i like pairing it with nudes literally it works with so many colors i actually quite like the look with the darker line and then the lighter lipstick however i do blend it so we don't have any 90s lip going on with the brown lip liner and the white lipstick I do blend it but I just really enjoyed the look that it gives it gives me a really perfect full lip line and it's so versatile it works with so many colors so I've absolutely loved it and then my this. next one is this and this is from Ben 9 this is the luxury powder in banana now I've had this I don't even know how long and I'm probably I'm what not even halfway down this stuff lasts forever it's amazing and I've really been enjoying this to set my under eye concealer lately um, I haven't been baking or cooking or however you want to put it but if I wanted to this would be my choice um, I do pat it on and then leave it while I do the other areas of my face as in put the powder on the other areas of my face but I don't leave it on for any great amount of time literally it'll be probably a minute or something like that but it's just really nice and gentle and soft it's very flawless you don't get flashback with it it just looks really really pretty on the skin and the banana for me is a perfect tone and then that brings me to my final favorite and my final favorites um and these have kind of been sort of like august favorites but they've also been favorites since my last favorites and these are the smashbox contour sticks now i have the palette and i love the palette it's amazing however i never thought that i would love a cream contour product like i love this these are genuinely amazing they are flawless they are creamy they're blendable they're soft they're long lasting they don't break down on my skin even though i'm a combination oily girl who never thought she would love a cream contour product they've literally changed my life they are very very pigmented so i don't actually draw them straight on my skin i buff them on with a brush so i'll get the brush work some product into it and then buff it in 
however they last so long on my skin they look flawless I love the effect that they give me and I love the contour they're just amazing the highlighter is a really really pretty beige shade I'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to see it which is really brightening you can use it underneath your eyes if you want to um doesn't crease beautiful I love it for around the lip line as well and then you've got the bronzer the bronzer is probably personally my least used one just because I always use um, a little bit of powder bronzer as well so I don't go through that quite as much but I love them and they just look beautiful on the skin and I've put these on the fairest of skin right the way up to probably say Beyonce tone and they look amazing on everyone so beautiful and um, you can leave them dewy if you want to however I do always set mine with powder just to make sure that I lock them in and that they last me all day and I don't have to worry about smudging and stuff these were yes, my so August favourites in my comfy clothes on a rainy day um I don't know about you but I'm really really looking forward to autumn getting here now summer's just over it's not been great so do you know what bring on scarves and jumpers and boots and all things warm and cozy and fall anyway I really really hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon take care bye